this battery, you have a key here. The key really just lets you lock in the battery to the holder. But to remove the battery, you just simply twist it to the left and you pull it up from here. We are gonna install the dash. The way this works is that there's two bolts. You loosen them and I think this goes on like this. It looks pretty nice. All right, so I got the computer on there. So there's an issue. The handlebars here are too wide or too thick and this won't bolt properly. So we're gonna have to remove the rubber. I don't think they come with different rubbers. I think it's just this. And now we're just gonna tighten this down. So this is a modes uh, switch. We're gonna mount it over here on the right. There we go. So it's an up, a middle, and a down. We're gonna to have to remove this throttle, this uh, hand grip because we're gonna to have to put a thumb throttle. And the best thing for this is just to kind of slide it all out. Get this out, slide the grip out. This is the thumb throttle. So this, it's kind of cool. You operate this like a motorcycle. Okay, there goes the brake. Slide the shifter. Only reason I'm loosening the handlebars so I can slide the cables out. I should be able to slide the handlebar a little bit and just kind of pull out the brakes. Now let's fit our thumb throttle. And uh, the way it works is this way. We have our shifters and then our brake lever. So it's pretty loose. So all the controls are here. I think I'm gonna move this over here because it's very cluttered. And then you have this here, which is kind of a big reach, but it doesn't seem like there's that much of a, a position for it, unfortunately. Here's the grip. We do have everything put on here, the brake, the grips, everything is on there. This is used as a hydraulic brake, so that's perfect for electric bike type of riding. Um, I'm not happy with the thumb throttle. That's the only thing that kind of bothers me. It's the same sort of mechanism that you use for uh, moving. But I think in the future, I probably would switch this with a thr uh, throttle uh, drive instead of the thumb drive. This is the battery. We are gonna be connecting, or at least putting the battery on the bike for now. It comes with two sets of keys. The keys only allow you to remove it. So it's like this. And now this is the battery and this is the holder. If you could install it say here, but this frame is too small. First thing we're gonna do is remove the cage for your bottle. Now with the cage removed, let's fit this on here. There's a couple of slots that you can choose and kind of move it, move it around. You can also get like a, a rack for the rear and mount it there instead if you, if you don't want this system. Okay, fit the battery through the hole there and now it fits in. All right, do you remember this bag? I believe this is where the controller is going to live. So I believe it is part of the controller system because there's a couple of holes here. And I believe there's another hole here where you can fit the wires. The controller will go here. There's also like bolts so we can attach it somewhere but I don't know yet. Now, we have to figure out how to put this on. So th this clearly is the battery. That's the last thing we'll do. We have this. This is the wiring loom for the bike. There, it's really two cables. One, it's got all of these uh, cables. With the two looms, you know, this is what I like about this specific kit. Um, it comes with these really decent connectors and you can see the colors, but it's, um, 
it's difficult to mess them up. And previously in other kits, I've had to like reconnect them. And sometimes you can fry the, the controllers or the hub. So this is a much better system. And this goes into the controller. This cable, I believe, attaches to the motor. And then you run this to the controller. This that comes directly from the hub motor. And this is the male part, this is the female part. And now, and now it's a matter of like routing, routing your cables. Because we're gonna put all zip ties everywhere. Remember, you could always reroute it. It's easy enough with the disconnect. Connect it over here to the frame. So it becomes a little bit more hidden. But now we got the cable here. This is gonna go into this one. We have all of these wires here. You know, I'm very impressed with this kit. It's well made. It's got all of these things, like it's hard to screw it up. So now we have these cables. We're gonna install them where they belong. So these cables are gonna be going into all of this. So this is all just matching the color. There we go. We're not gonna use two of these, and I believe it's these two red ones we're not gonna use because it's for the brake lights. We don't have hydraulic brakes on those, so we're gonna not use this. So we're gonna, the only one, I believe, is this one, and it belongs to the digital dash. So we're gonna route it this way, and now we're gonna connect it. There we go. Now that's connected. If you were to use brakes, brake lights, you would have to use these two. And now we're just tying this together. Visual dash the throttle, that's going to be connected into the controller. There's only one way to install it though. So just kind of, there we go. And it's on there. This we can actually tuck into the bag. So this is the wire for the motor and that just connects onto this one. All right, controller, everything is kind of set up very temporarily. Now we're going to turn on the controller or turn on the speedo and see if it works. So you have to turn on the battery. There's an on off switch over here because the battery, the frame of this bike is so small. It's a little bit hard to kind of get your finger in there, but it's got there. And also, if you ever need to remove the battery to charge inside, this is not a quick disconnect. You don't use the key and then remove the battery. You still have to unclip this and it's a little difficult. What I like about this kit is that the controller is small. It used to be the controllers for these e-bikes were really large, but now they're becoming smaller. And they give you this nice little bag and you can put all your stuff here. It might get in the way a little bit, so you could always choose to remove the controller and put it somewhere else. So I have just about everything done. This is the thumb drive. For some reason, if it was too close, it was interfering with the shifter. This is kind of like a downside. What I do plan on doing is buying the throttle, um, the throttle, the one that works like this, it's a lot better because the controls are too tight here. And if you have your hand here, it's a long reach, especially if you have small hands, to reach here. And um, the owner of this bike is 5'2", so her hands are a little bit smaller. I was surprised at how good the computer looks. This is a e-bikeling S830. They have instructions online and it's very important because you do have to program it. And I'll show you because if your motor is not turning on, chances are you probably did everything right. Uh, check the connections and all of that. It's all in here and we're about to go into this. And I decided to change the power and modes button onto the left because the right was getting a little bit cluttered. It might not be the best way, but to power it on, if you have the battery on, you should be able to push M and it'll power on. Let's push M and the display goes up. The display is active and what you have here on the top, it's a pretty fairly like they did a really great job with this. I am surprised. This is really the best bike kit I've ever installed. So you have here your speedometer. You might get your speedometer in kilometers. There is a way to change it. Here is your battery status. Right now you have it at 100%. And then 
PAS is pedal assistance. I have not installed that yet. And then you have a three. So if you use the modes button, you can kind of go down on the pedal assisting. And then you have the odometer. Now you can push M and it'll cycle through your trip. So that's your trip. And then you can reset it. Um, vol, that's voltage. That's the current. That is the time. I haven't set those yet. So the important thing to do is that if you hold the, the up and down, if you hold the up and down on your selector, you're gonna get this screen. And this is very important. This is how you adjust the settings. So if you want to change the power settings on the bike, this is how you do it. So we're gonna go through here. The important part to note is that up here, P01 really is 01. It's a, a little misleading, or at least it's hard to kind of figure out, but once you get the manual for this individual computer, you can kind of make sure that you hold the brake. Now, keep in mind that the pedal assist mode is at zero. You're gonna to have to change that in order for the throttle to work. So after you've done all the settings, you want to go up and down and you can see the level on on one it goes up to nine miles an hour of assist on two it goes up to 15 60 miles per hour on three it goes to 20 miles per hour on four, it goes to 24, 25 miles per hour. On five, which is the maximum, it goes to 30 miles per hour. All right, guys, with the bike fully mounted, the only thing left to do is give the bike a try. So let's go for a ride. <laughs> I'm stuck here. The cops won't bother me.